Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to the first episode of another of my Civilization V Vox Populi series. So as usual, because this is the first episode, we'll go through the usual like series introduction, we'll check the mods that we're gonna be using, uh, we'll go through the map settings, but this time there is only one starting location, so there won't be any voting, but that also means we can start playing right away, we can start playing in this episode, and also I will make the initial save file available with the release of this episode. So let's start with the mods. As usual, we have the complete Vox Populi package. The version is, or it's the latest version from the 1st of July with the first uh, hotfix. So the exact version, I think the number is 712. Uh, and uh, we are also using the third and fourth unique component, the latest version, and I'm not sure if it's 60 or 70, just the latest one. I will, of course, leave links in the description, so if you want to play with me, make sure you are using the same versions of both mods. So that's the mods out of the way. Now we can uh, uh, check the game settings. We'll be playing as Polynesia, and... Um, um, it took me a while to decide what to play this time. It's also the reason for the delay that I didn't start the series yesterday as I initially planned, but yesterday I was still like considering three options. I was thinking Indonesia um, or some kind of a one city challenge or Polynesia. Um, in the end, I decided for Polynesia because I kind of have an idea about what I want to do do uh, with them um, with Indonesia and the one city challenge I just couldn't figure out either how I would play Indonesia because that's a save that doesn't really give you um, a specific direction you can more or less do whatever you want there and I just couldn't decide and I had a feeling I would end up with just a domination game uh, and I didn't want to do that or one city challenge that I was considering but again I just couldn't decide on a save that I would play how I would play so in the end uh, I ended up with Polynesia just because I kind of have an idea about what I want to do uh, when we check the advanced setup uh, we are playing on tiny islands with a low sea level I want to have some more land tiles on the map everything else is uh, basically the standard settings of course they have the epic uh, uh, epic game pace as usual uh, with uh, seven ais 16 city states no changes there uh, these settings are, are pretty much what i'm always going with uh, no events uh, no tech trading tech brokering raging barbarians transparent diplomacy right probably didn't forget anything this time i didn't disable the start bias because i wanted something that like fits polynesia and with the starting bias on you have a better chance to get like a the the, the safe specific start of course uh okay so these are the settings and now we can load the game Um, so, let's um, talk about Polynesia a little bit. Uh, our unique ability, wayfinding, plus one side when embarked, can always embark and move over oceans, plus two food from fishing boats and um, atolls, uh, and melee naval units can construct fishing boats. No unhappiness from isolation. Mm. There is really not much to, to, to talk about. It's very self-explanatory. We want to explore as much as possible. Oh, maybe something I should mention is that I, I didn't turn on Ancient Ruins. With, when you go a map like this with Indonesia and turn Ancient, uh, ancient Ruins on, it's basically like cheating, right? You are the the first one who gets to like 80% or let's say 60% of the uh, of all of the ancient ruins and just the ancient ruins get you so far ahead that there's basically no point in playing the game sure if you want to just enjoy this overpowered start sometimes why not uh, but that's not what i want for the series so we are we won't be 
uh, using ancient ruins. Uh, I'll s I still, of course, want to take advantage of our ability to cross oceans immediately, so we will try to find all of the saves and even more importantly, as many city-states as possible, as fast as we can, so that we get access to as many city-state quests, get the extra yields from rewards there. Uh, we'll see. It depends a little bit on luck. Uh, even though we have extra vision when we are embarked, the vision is still not that great, so you can quite easily miss uh, especially city states early uh because it's only like that territory is like thirty to four tiles across uh, so you can just like sail right next to it and you may never notice them but i'll try to find as many as possible and take advantage of uh, city state quest then of course the extra yields from fishing bow i also will focus on the upper part of the tech tree early much more than usual um, melee naval units can construct fishing boats it's nice but early it's not super important uh, what else do we have do we have two unique units a maori warrior that replaces a pikeman powerful mid-game unit that strikes fear into nearby enemies making them less effective in combat is available at ch chivalry unlike, uh, unlike the pikeman which it replaces only polynesia may build it uh, the other one is car which replaces a scout both strong scout and frontline unit only polynesia may build it slightly stronger than scout it replaces and starts with amphibious promotion inflicts leomano I probably shouldn't even try to pronounce these words. Uh, status on enemy during melee combat, reducing max uh, hit points by 20 and reducing healing by 10 for two turns. That's interesting. I'll probably try to get one of these and uh, test them a little bit. The problem is, on this map, there really won't be too much land combat, so both of our unique units won't be super useful. Uh, overall, I don't want to fight too much. Uh, there will be some wars like on the other it's impossible almost even on a map like this It's almost impossible or maybe even like, completely impossible to go without wars. The AIs are just too aggressive, but I Don't want to be too aggressive myself uh, the level of um, like or um, How many wars there will be depends on what saves we get on the map and it's more about if we get any save that we will have to shut down in order to win rather than how many warmongers we get. On a map like this, I'm not th that afraid of, I don't know, Mongolia, Shaka, Assyria. Uh, because on the like water heavy map, they are not such a menace and, as they are on, let's say, Pangaea. But saves like, let's say, maybe Carthage. But that's not a good example. Maybe Korea... China, those could be a problem. So, if we get a, if, if we get saves like that, I might be forced to attack some of them just to weaken them, slow them down, so that we can get our victory. Not sure what's it gonna be exactly. I just don't want it to be domination. Mm. Then we have, and I have no idea how to pronounce this again. Fail, tell it something. Uh, replaces uh, council, so very early building, plus five science whenever a citizen is born in the city, scaling it era, plus three food, gold, culture whenever a building is constructed in the city, scaling that era. So yeah, it's slightly better than council. Mm. We want to get it as soon as possible to get the maximum out of it and this is basically the reason why I will go with Stonehenge in this game. If we didn't have this unique building, I would probably go with Pyramids for faster expansion, but we get this for free with Stonehenge, so that basically made the decision for me. The last one, the Moai, which is our unique tile improvement uh, available with construction, uh, Moai can be only built on the coast if built next to another one it provides additional culture provides additional yields one late attacks are researched um, plus it gives a combat strength bonus to units that are positioned is it how far within three tiles and it's just all units so it's even ships uh, we kind of want to like defend our territory within range of these 
uh, as we hopefully won't have any reason for offensive wars or and only very few uh, offensive wars we will take advantage of this bonus uh, make the defense much more effective okay so that's um, our unique abilities uh, Polynesia is um, like has to get the maximum of its early game of the wayfinding of course so that's our first goal um, find as many things as possible on the map very early uh, to get the especially the city-state quests uh, but also trading partners potentially for both like selling uh, either strategic resources or luxuries but also for trade routes i would like to start trading with cargo ships as soon as possible and then for the late game if we get the right kind of terrain right kind of islands uh, to get the maximum out of our unique tile improvements we can switch to culture go for a tourism uh, kind of culture victory but I have a feeling we'll end up going science. I'm not really sure if we can pull off culture victory. So, that's uh, our save. And now, what do we want to do? Oh, I decided to go with the start. It's not exactly what I wanted. It's really good. We'll be starting on the hill. Uh, we are starting next to sugar. So, the first style that we'll be working is really good. Then we have two whales. Hopefully we'll be able to get Monopoly on Wales soon because the 10% the science is really nice and it's something that scales throughout the whole game. Um, not uh, like, I think it's crab that just gives flat science, which is nice early, but in the late game it doesn't really mean anything. So we have, I think, the better or maybe even the best uh, luxury that uh, we could have wished for. Mm, I wanted a starting location with fewer land tiles. I kind of wanted a small island uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere with like uh, lots of uh, uh, sea resources around it, as many fish as possible. You probably won't get too many fish here, but there is still the option to get some fish down here. We reach all these tiles, we reached here, and then we will reach tiles that we don't see yet also there is a good area down here for the my i think we can get them on all of these tiles all the way here um we could potentially get some pretty decent yields out of that uh okay where do we start or where do we start how do we start um we are starting right here, or settling right here. That's easy. Uh, we of course starting with the monument. And we want to go exploring, so which way do we go? Um, I don't want to send our warrior like too far away. Because um, when we started... Uh, training settlers i want the warrior to come back and escort our settlers we'll probably be settling on different islands and there is a good chance that there will be barbarians so i need the to have the the cover i the last thing we need is barbarian is for barbarians to slow down our expansion so the pathfinder can Probably go like this way and the warrior will go. That's a good question uh, Let's go this way Just confirm that the island doesn't continue in this direction. It doesn't we are starting with the wheel That's a really strong combination going Stonehenge and then get the unique building for free. I really like that um, yeah, I think that's all that we can do. Next. Hopefully we get some islands around our main island that have atolls around them, because that would be amazing. We have, uh, or we can get insane uh, yields for the early game out of, uh, out of atolls. 
Um, so I probably should have the warrior check how does it look like around our main island, go north, see what's in there. And I think with the with the Pathfinder, what I'm gonna do, I will follow the coast. I'm uh, not coast, no matter what I'm talking about. Follow the like the southern edge of the map in one direction until we circumnavigate the world, then go north, do the same thing uh, around like the northern side of the map. Because I'm hoping we'll find um, quite a few city-states on the edges of the map, and then we'll just um, like un uh, try to uncover the center of the map as quickly as possible. Mm. With one pathfinder, it will take a while, but with the extra vision I'm hoping uh, or with the extra vision that we eventually get, I'm hoping we'll be able to uh, uncover most of the map in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, next. Now, in which direction do we go? Let's go in this direction. We have the warrior going this way, so there is another island. For now, I won't really be thinking about uh, our secondary cities yet, because first I need to know uh, the location of fish. It's gonna be very important to like place our cities properly, and the fish will be a big deal if we get the uh, the um, pantheon that I want. I of course want to get the god of the sea. Uh, oh hey, so you can see here six two right from the start. It's just Nuts. There are basically two options for a pantheon that I want. Uh, oh, hey. That's exactly the city state type that I wanted. I'm hoping that we will find uh, mercantile city states and get extra gold. Uh, because if you are the first one to find them, you get a pretty decent amount of money that would let us get um, maybe some work boats earlier. Uh, we want a worker. Not sure. If, we actually want one, I think, early. Uh, so that would help. We may want to get... The second warrior, although on this map it's not that important. But we definitely could use some extra money. Uh, close that. I'll still go with the uh, trailblazer. It won't be as useful as on the land maps, but I think it's still going to be good. There should be some large islands. With the low sea level that we uh, that we are going with, and eventually, <clears throat> we actually want to to uh, disembark the scout and explore on land as much as possible because as we get uh, the the extra vision promotions, they don't apply when you are embarked. So eventually, our vision will be much better on land. So at that point, the extra movement on land will become relevant. Let's go this way, and I think I'm gonna land here because I wanted to reveal all of these tiles on the main island. Next. So you can keep going. Uh, you can go here, so that's the northern side and now we need to find out if oh this doesn't look connected this looks just like one one tile island uh, look that for now next which way do we go around I don't think we'll be able to go around we'll probably have to Disembark next. Uh, there's oh, another really. Uh, that's like the last thing that we want these uh, uh, religious city states. Okay, we have to go 
that way you will continue around uh, i'm looking for more whales but so far nothing that's bad we need how many we need two more at least probably f three more uh give me whales we can go there we can go there and now we can jump down <clears throat> barbarians shouldn't be a problem for some time because they shouldn't uh get ships right away i think thing but once the barbarian gullies start showing up that might be an issue although we can hide on the ocean tiles that's true <clears throat> so we'll have to be a bit more careful but it won't be the end of the world okay so there is a whale i think we can check with the warrior what else is there on the island one two three we will get attacked but it's fine Next. Even if they both attack, we are still fine. Could even kill him, probably. But we don't get anything from the for the kill. No, no, no. Let's do it. He could decide to embark and just uh, cause problems on uh, our island. So let's just get rid of him. Plus, we get experience. That's something. You should get a promotion now, or is it bit no, it's 20 experience for the promotion. Um, okay, let's jump to the water again. There is a military stick, so another one that we don't care about. Come on, give me culture than mercantile. Wow, how did we? Oh, it's because we saw the unit, that's how we met them. This is really far south. Next. I wasn't sure if I should go with Raging Barbarians for this uh, uh, for the series, for what I want to do. It's definitely gonna be annoying, but um, I do Barbarian, uh, I do Raging Barbarians every time, so I didn't want to turn them off just because I had slightly different plans than usual. I want the settings to be as similar as possible. Uh, Trouble is a like two. Uh, and then we embark, I th or disembark, I think, next turn. More barbarians. Okay, next we definitely have to go butter. We need to see fish. We want to build granary in the capital as soon as possible. And we want to be able to get settlers soon. Plus, after that, we want to go fishing. Because we need to get workboats. I'll focus and invest into workboats a lot more than usual. Often I kind of neglect sea resources and especially fish not this time this time that's where we want to get most of our early yields and we can probably turn off the the yields icons um next we should get quite a bit of extra production as we grow so we should be able to get Stonehenge, I hope, around turn 42, 43. Uh, we can still keep exploring. I mean, you have like probably 30 more turns for the warrior to keep exploring. Then he'll have to come back. There is Riga for 15 food. That's a little bit better than the fate and uh, nothing that we got from the militaristic city state. Um, jump down. I think the next promotion is the vision. That's the one that I really want to get as soon as possible. Mm. Double checking that I locked the, the whale. And next. Uh, we can ignore zone of control, I'm pretty sure at this point. 
let's go there and there. Of that. How long until we get the second whale? 19 parents. I'm thinking if it will be worth it buying it for 75 gold, but um, I kind of want to get uh, like a super early worker and I want to buy him. But if I spend uh, my money here, I'm gonna delay the worker by like, I don't know, 14 turns, something like that. I don't think I want to do that. Um, next. Okay, now we start turning north. Um, a little too far north. Not sure if I should check this area. Ah, oh, why not? Next. Would it be faster to go? That's still quite far away. I'll just keep going in this direction. I hope that I didn't miss a city state here. Okay, whales. How many did you find? That's not a whale. That is a whale. So there's one, two, three. There's nothing here. So there is another one. Of course, both of them have barbarians nearby. Uh, I'll just go like this. Come on, where is that promotion? We really need it. We are close. Next. Antwerp. But over, someone already met them. Uh, 18 gold is nothing. Pretty sure you can get like 50 gold if you are the first one to meet the uh, the mercantile city state. I mean, it's still more than 30 turns worth of gold for us. Compared to what it could have been, it sucks. There is another atoll, but I'm pretty sure there has to be a sieve nearby. Maybe even more than one, so I don't think we'll be getting this aura. Let's go this way. Oh, hey. Hmm. Pakal could potentially snowball a game, but I'm not too afraid of him, I think. So I think that's a save the way we could say. I don't mind having him in the game. that we discovered fish so that's good Three, two okay let's grow faster even one turn is worth it 
What else? I don't see any more. There is a fish here that's too far. There is a fish here that is in range. Now, I'm very interested in this island. Probably. We could go here or we could go here. I kind of want to settle here, I think, so that we would then have one extra tile for improvements. There would definitely be a mine there. Uh, we could just settle and immediately buy this tile. It's good that there is a stone here that's a little bit more production. Uh, it will cover these tiles, it will cover these tiles. The capital can go all the way here. So with these two cities, all of this area will be covered. Capital covers this, and the capital one, two, three covers all of this. Okay, so with an uh, with the city here, we uh, make sure that no one can settle anywhere, right? Border, border. There will be these three tiles, but they will have border next to them, so it won't be possible for anyone to settle. Okay, good. Uh, two fish tiles, one, two, three, that's too far, but we could potentially settle somewhere here. Uh, then, this is important. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, here. This is, this is too far, yeah. So, hill, river, triple fish, whales, so that's... The third copy of Wales for us. This island will be a bit of a problem because we won't have it covered. I'm definitely not settling here. Uh, if there were like, I don't know, two more fish somewhere here, then maybe I'd consider it, but like, there is nothing. So, I don't think that even AIs will settle here. And eventually the borders of our capital will cover it, so uh, it's not the end of the world. Actually, it might get covered quite early, as, as the borders of our capital grow here, then it will increase the likelihood of it growing into the fourth ring, because there is the fish, so maybe I don't have to worry about that. There is not much to see here. Uh, this is too far, one, two, three, this might be a city. That would be a decent-ish city. Quadruple fish, because this is in range. There is eight also. It's far, but later we could just buy uh, all of this right after we would settle it. And it would give us truffles as a unique luxury. Uh, it would be a pain in the ass to defend this, but we should have quite a large fleet early. So yeah, that is an option. Then, this is covered. This could be a city that's in range. One fish, unfortunately. But we need uh, whales. We need that extra whale. Or we could settle here. One, two, three. Because that would give us extra fish. That would give us this tile. Unfortunately, the citrus is too far. But it would cover these two tiles. It would cover this whole island. But again, once again, it would be a pain in the ass to defend. Um, next. There we go, that's the vision. Yep. Uh, this is Pakal's border, so I don't think we have to go there. Next. Uh, was that? That was a whale. Okay, so a city somewhere in this area, definitely. Maybe here? One, two, three. 
Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, this this looks okay. I love that. How long until we get the whale? Seven turns. Fifteen. That's turn forty-four. So that's probably as fast as we can get it. I could I would go fifteen, twelve, twenty-two to save a turn. Is it one turn? Two turns. To go turn forty-two, Stonehenge. That's pretty good. Turn forty-two, Stonehenge. But it slows down the growth by seven turns, and it's not worth it. It's 44, we still should be fine. Although I noticed that the AIs build the early wonders faster than they used to. I noticed sometimes pyramids disappearing around turn 45. <clears throat> uh, because I usually build Stonehenge, I'm not sure how the AIs are aggressive about that. But I never lost it, even on turn 45, 46. Um, how much money do we have? Not enough. Well, keep going. <laughs> Go there. Uh, first thing. Probably gonna uh, disembark here because now we have better vision from these small islands. So I'll be using them to reveal more territory, and that will give us another plus one vision uh, faster. And that's when we will see really far from all these small, I small islands. So then we will be basically jumping from an island to island to reveal as much territory as possible. Uh, you can probably go this way for a while. One, two, three. There is another one. Mm, I will go south, I think. Next. How much experience do we need for the next one? Oh, quite a lot. Oh, hey, this looks very much like Brazil. I don't mind having Brazil this close. The problem is um, the whale here is something he might be interested in. Also, this makes this town significantly less interesting. If I settle... This is his capital. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have two cities yet. So if I settle right next to his cap, oh yeah, it is his capital. Uh, so if I settle right next to his capital, he's not gonna like that. Uh, okay, what the hell was that? I'm not sure if uh, you saw that, but for a moment I just had a black screen, then it returned back. So I'm not sure if it was the game or if it, if it was my, like screen. Hopefully it's fine. Um, Just jump down and we go here, I think. I would like to check what's here because that's quite close to our capital. But I want to know if there are any potential cities. There are quite a few fish tiles that we already see. Unfortunately, they seem to be quite far. Mm, now, if I'm not building a city here, only to get only three fish, there would have to be more. Oh, hey, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Mercantile friendly, nearby, 55 gold. So this 
is one of the city states that you'll focus on as much as possible. Try to get an alliance. Okay. Work it. Uh, there is a river here, so I want to farm on this tile. That's gonna be fo for food tile. We will eventually replace that, but for now, I think it's pretty useful. Pantheon, which one? Got a superiority. Enjoy. Not interested. Uh, progress. So this is gonna be another progress game. Um, the reason why I'm going progress here is that I learned a few things from the previous series where we tried progress on Pangea. And um, the problem there was that the AI basically forced me into never-ending wars. So, uh, progress, because of the AI behavior, was so much weaker than authority that it showed up in the in the second playthrough that we did, right, uh, Ethiopia, how much of a difference it made. On a map like this, even the super aggressive deity AIs just won't be able to force me into early wars or, or into wars that basically go through throughout the whole series. Um, and um, therefore, the difference between progress and authority shouldn't be as insanely large as it is on maps that have a lot more land. Plus, progress has been buffed. Uh, pretty sure organization gained extra production in every city. I'm pretty sure it used to be plus two. Uh, plus two and plus three actually makes noticeable difference. I'm not sure if um, it also had the uh, production boost for trade units. Probably did, I just didn't know this. Then, expertise gained 5%. And I'm not sure if there are any others. This, this is identical. It's also identical. But just that small production boost is actually noticeable. So it makes it a little bit more competitive. Still, I think that the Progress 3 uh, has... Um, it's, it's like wrongly designed overall. The opener is just such garbage that... It has to be moved. Come on, give me... Organization as opener would probably be too strong. But... Um, give me... I don't know. Expertise as opener. And give me this... Adopting, uh, well, how is it called? Oh, it doesn't have a name. It's just the just the opener bonus. Make it a, a social policy that's here. Just do something about the opener. That's what I'm trying to say. It's really bad. Move it somewhere and give me the production earlier. And progress actually might even be competitive here and there. Uh, but well, we're going to try anyway. So, opener... Uh, good thing is that we get the next social policy relatively early, and that's the big one. Organization is huge. So, uh, I'm looking forward to getting that one. And then try to uh, spam some cities and take advantage of that extra early production. Uh, you will be building the farm. You will go there. Oh, that's a lot of useless land, if I saw correctly. It's triple fish, triple stone, with the potential for oil, with the potential for coal, iron. One, two, three, that's too far. If we settle it here, one. If you settle it here, that would be one, two, three, three. We would have this. This is moral, it's just useless. Oh, there is a city state. Uh, 
What am I even considering this as a location? There is a potential if there are like two copies of strategic resources, maybe even three. If there is like iron, coal, and um, oil, then yeah, then I would take it. Because uh, food here won't be an issue. Like triple fish, that's good enough. The stone, I mean, it's stone works. The stone won't be horrible. We have two mines. This one will be kind of garbage. This one will be okay. So, even though it looks quite bad with a strategic resource or two, it'll probably be worth it. And we kind of need to cover this territory because it's quite close to our capital, so I don't want the AI settling here. And this is like a prime location for for AIs, like a AI city here would be huge. Next. Okay, so now we get fishing. Next goal is to get uh, work boats. Okay. Well, that's something. There isn't just one mercantile, friendly mercantile city. There are two. Give me more vision around there, uh, here. Uh, there is access, so we could send the trade drop down here even if we wanted to. Oh, there is one whale here. Mm, why does Genoa has a whale? What else do you have? We have glass. Okay, you two, give me quests. Something that I can easily complete. Uh, you will go there. And now, what else do we want to do? Animal husbandry, mining. I need to grab mining because I have to be able to chop down forests. Once we are done here, we will do calendar and writing. And then bronze working. I don't really need to rush uh, the Moai. It's not that great early. And I'll then have to think about if I want to try for any wonders. I don't think it's really necessary. I don't mind getting maybe Colossus. Which is quite unusual, but here I kind of would like to get that. The extra trade route would be nice. The question is, do you want to go for something like metal casting early? You might just end up going sailing here. And with... Um, Selling, writing, may as well go philosophy, education, unless we are forced into war. But even if we are forced into war, we want to defend with ships. And what we are rushing is, of course, navigation. So eventually we will switch to this side of the map. But it's probably going to be education and then switch the southern side and try to get navigation as soon as possible next Just realized that we only met two sieves. Next. I'm 
Antwerp seek natural wonder. Is Antwerp... No, this is what? This is Melbourne and Genoa. Antwerp... I think Antwerp is here. Somewhere. Well, no. Where the hell is Antwerp? There we go. Antwerp. How did... When did we... I didn't even notice meeting Antwerp. Oh, that's the... That's the mercantile that gave us 18 gold. Okay, okay. Natural wonder. We didn't find a single one, so it shouldn't be that difficult. What do we get as a reward? Gold. Sure, I'll take golden age points. Next. Oh, this would be a great city. Triple fish, another sugar, double bananas. One, two, three. It would even reach the whales. Holy crap, this might be the second city that we get. I know it's quite far, but I want to settle this uh, island before um, Brasilia can do it. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And I don't mind pissing off uh, Brasilia, or Brazil, I mean. Just making sure there isn't anything to the south of our capital. Ah, that's enough. Let's go, let's go this way. Next. time do we have before we start training settlers not that much maybe a little bit more maybe sail around this island and that will be it for the warrior but that means the warrior will take care of all of this Yeah, I'll send the, the Pathfinder this way. Next. Come on, come on, come on, we need gold. Oh, speaking about gold, I just realized, holy crap. Gold, 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 perfume. This is probably a sea tile. If this wasn't a sea tile, it would be a great city because it would reach these two fish tiles. And Colombo. More mercantile city states. Do, do, do. Boom. sucks that I decided to send the Pathfinder this way instead of the other way around because uh, if we went this way we would have discovered all of these mercantile city states earlier so we would would get the workboat earlier uh, you're going there and you will I hope it's Possible. Oh, that's one island? Holy crap.
hope it's not swarming with barbarians here. So, already have a 5 to 1 tile, and it will get better next turn, hopefully. So far so good, don't see anybody stealing our our uh, Pantheon. Animal Husbandry, did we get anything? It seems that we did. Uh, you can land. So this, um, this four, four food, four gold, that's coming from this thing. Then culture from technology, science from growth, uh, sheep here, and sheep here, so it's definitely going to be a city uh, on this style. <clears throat> no horses. I was hoping that there might be some horses maybe here. Uh, nothing here either. There's so many tiles where we could have gone horses, and uh, this is a um, these are tiny islands. So there are not that many tiles overall where horses could spawn. So it's quite disappointing that we didn't didn't get a single one. Um, wait, before I decide anything. Yeah, this is just doesn't give culture, doesn't give science, but it gives. Uh, it will give two. I mean, this is guaranteed in every single city, and this will we will get this multiple times in all cities. So overall, like the average will be two food, city production, four faith. I would say. Uh, the other option that I was considering are tutelary gods, but those don't give food, yeah, and I really want the food this time. I would basically like to win this game on production and growth. And turns to grow. Hmm. Are we currently working? The best that we have. How long is this gonna take? Two more turns. I think if I want to wait with the settler until we get the size uh, to size 6. If you do granary, settler, shrine, settler. Also, I have to squeeze those workboats in there somehow, but. How? Probably have to buy them. Hmm. I think this will be all for the first episode. As usual, uh, we built the first wonder, got our pantheon, and uh, that's usually all that I want from the first episode. We explored quite a decent amount. 
uh, two, four, six, eight city states. So we already meant half of the city states on the map. That's nice. So the strategy of sailing around the edge paid off. Um, then we're gonna, or next time we're gonna do the same thing on the other side of the map. That should give us. Don't think it will give us all of the city states, but we should be able to get like 12, 13, I would say. Hopefully, meet some more, uh, some more saves. And actually, speaking about saves, we can trade. 154. 155. How much is that? That's like 4 gold per turn. Not even that. Okay, no. I'm not selling uh, a luxury for 3 gold per turn. Hopefully when we meet more uh, more sales, we'll be able to get the better deal. I'd like to get at least 5 gold per turn. <clears throat> if we don't get that, I may even sell for 3 just because we need more gold per turn. But we get gold per turn from uh, the next social policy that I want to grab. Next, I'm going Liberty. Uh, because 15% more production at this point isn't actually that much. I don't really care for the for the culture from uh, buildings yet. Uh, so we'll do liberty, fraternity, expertise, and equality, I think. Oh, and then also, there is a question what we're gonna do after that. Uh, if we get the religion, I think I want to go filthy, grab the opener and nobility. Uh, and then probably do something else. I, I need to get to these. Or maybe even artistry would be an option. Like do these two then artistry a little bit then this might be a game for for rationalism yeah i'll have to decide this after we get these two if we even get them but um, monasteries are just so good that at least the opener is just almost a must have. And if you have the opener, may as well grab nobility. Because the extra happiness and gold is just good enough. The opener from artistry, pretty sure we want that. This is gonna be interesting because this time we are not playing a save like um, like Ethiopia that that was forcing us to complete the whole trees. So I'll probably be jumping in between different ones, grab something here, something here, then then rationalism, then maybe return to to artistry. I was kind of thinking going industry here, but I don't think I don't think we'll be able to do that. Well, we can think about this about this later. If you have any ideas, uh, like overall for the social policies, what to do here, uh, or what you would do, uh, let me know in comments. I definitely could use some inspiration because uh, for this series, like overall, I just didn't have any good ideas, like what I would like to do overall when it came to deciding on even what to play with. Um, Polynesia, I at least had some ideas, but I'm not deciding uh, on anything specific. I don't even know about victory condition yet. So I could definitely use some inspiration with the direction at which we will take this game. Uh, but well, we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.